Hey guys, Matt here. Um, I wasn't uh, here last week. I had a bunch of Thanksgiving stuff to do. So I'm kind of catching up on my uh, videos. Uh, I also got a cold, so I'm extra nasal today. Anyway, I want to show you really quick how you can stop Microsoft from spying on you in Windows 10. I know a lot of people are really concerned about this data collection that Microsoft has in Windows 10. Um, I, for one, could care less, but a lot of people do. Um, I mean, I care in the fact that it creates a lot of extra network chatter. So, yeah, that does bother me and bother me that way. But, you know, uh, them spying on me, I don't really care. But anyway, a lot of people do care. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that. Um, go ahead and click your little Windows uh, start button little uh, icon down there and click settings. And Microsoft does make it really easy for you to turn all this stuff off or most of it. You click Privacy, and right in this window, okay, right in this window right here, sorry, I had to pause it real quick, somebody was calling me, uh, under General, you can see certain things that we can turn on and off. It says, let apps use my advertising ID for experiences across apps. Uh, we're going to turn this off, leave that one on, uh, send Microsoft information about how I write, no. Let websites provide content by accessing my language list. Not that big of a deal, but still, I'll just turn it off. Uh, location. If you don't want them to know your location, just turn it off. And if you want to clear the location history, just clear it. Now, this will, this will affect things like, you know, weather. Um, yeah, like MSN weather, travel, stuff like that. Uh, let's go to camera. I know everyone's super sensitive about a camera. Every time I get a laptop now, it has a piece of tape over the camera. Everyone thinks they're being spied upon. So we will go ahead and turn this off. Now, where this might screw up some people is Skype. You know, if you're Skyping, um, you probably want this on and maybe you just want to turn off, you know, all of these. I know it's really up to you. It's really how much you want to be, you know, alone or not connected. Microsoft, uh, Microsoft microphone again. Same thing with Skype, but I'm just going to turn it off. I don't use Skype. Speech inking and typing. Stop getting to know me. Turn it off. Uh, account info. Let apps access my name, picture, and other account info. I'm turning that off. Uh, contacts, calendar, messaging, radios, other devices. I'm not touching that because if I tell you to turn it off, it, it, a lot of people all of a sudden won't be able to sync with something or something like that. And it's really, these really aren't that big of a deal. Uh, feedback and diagnostics. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say never on Windows should ask for my feedback. Um, and then diagnostic and usage data, I'm going to say to basic. Background apps. Which apps do you want to allow in the background? I would just turn them all off. I don't want any of the stuff going on in the background. I don't want something taking up even a little bit of my CPU cycles. So, off. All right. So that's the basic way to turn off stuff. If you want to further it, come down here to this search button and type in services. <clears throat> MSC. Just going to bring up the services uh, window. And we are looking for. Oh, my wife keeps texting me. Okay. Hang on a second. Sorry. Where was I? Uh, data collection. Right. Um, I think that's it. Make sure I'm looking at this right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just data publishing service. We're going to set these to disabled, or this one to disabled. And this one right down here, this DM WAP push service. Go ahead and set that to disabled. Um, I did do a write-up on this over on my other blog, techynotes.net. 
And um, <laughs> it's funny. I think it's a cached page. Hang on. Or I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking at an old version of my site. All right, skip that. I'll I'll post that in the description once I get that fixed. Anyway, that is how you can stop them from collecting data on you and or, you know some people call it spying, whatever. Uh, and that's it. It's pretty simple to do. So if you want to go ahead and add further ways to uh, you know stop them from collecting data on you, just leave it as a comment. I'm sure we could all use um, you know use that info. So, uh, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, guys. So anyway, I saw, I'm sorry. I had a few announcements here. Like I said, that write up on how to stop Microsoft from spying on you in Windows 10 is on my blog, techynotes.net. It's the first post right now. And I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I put everything in there. Okay. Um, diagnostics tracking services. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that right. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you need to hire me for something, if you need my help, head on over to remove-malware.com, click hire me. Uh, if you'd like to request a video, head over to mattsforums.vbulletin.net and go ahead and put in, register, obviously, and put in a video request. There's two people there, put in requests. That helps me create more content because I can't think of everything I need to do so this helps. Uh, if you'd like to support me, if you think I'm worth a buck a month, please do. I have five supporters out of 24,000 YouTube subscribers. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, you five guys. Anyway, talk to you guys later.